The human beings are the only creatures who hoard their dead. Why do we do this? What a comfort to know your husband who's died is not corrupted because he's been put in a concrete vault in a bronze casket and skillfully embalmed and there he will be forever and ever. I have a theory that dead people should be used as fertilizer and we return to the earth that which we took from it. Everything eats everything and human beings are trying to opt out. We refuse to be eaten. Of course, we've conquered the tigers and the uh, various predatory animals that might eat us, except the little ones, the little bacteria. And uh, we say, no, we are the end. Man is the head of nature, and man must not be eaten. But in so doing, we do not realize how we deprive ourselves, because we are trying to put a stop to the chain of life. This gadget that I wear on my wrist represents each minute by a hairline. And this hairline is made to be as thin as possible as is compatible with visibility. And therefore we get the feeling from the watch that time flies and faster and faster. When you're a child, time drags and you just can't wait for it to get ahead so that you can be an adult. As you get older, as you face death, it's going faster. You just can't keep track of it. But it's an illusion. There is no time. What the Hindus and Buddhists are seeking deliverance from is not life, but time. Conceptualized idea of the universe which bugs us all. That it's a terrible thing that forms all come to an end. That they're transient. And therefore to protect us from this reality, we construct abstract worlds in which our form goes on forever. The reason for belief in God as a compassionate father, the reason for belief in immortality, the reason for belief in the notion that goodness will triumph, it'll all come out all right in the end. All that is what the Buddhists call clinging. It isn't really an attitude of faith at all. It's an attitude of frantic clinging on to what you think you are. And therefore, you might say that almost all religious beliefs are in fact fantasies to overcome mortality.